little side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number Virginia Tech is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Got the corner. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at midfield. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's out to the 30. He makes his way out to about the 35. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. Up the middle. They go to the left for a nice game. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Give to the tailback. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Yard line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Third down and 14 to go. Ball of their own 44. Out of bounds at about the 45. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Georgia Tech up seven points. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He 
gets to about the 41-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. big loss on the play and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here perhaps run a screen maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern this D line is just a bit much to handle at this moment it's second down now 14 to go ball on the 36 and he's tackled at the 44 yard line making a play call here that really played for their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. They'll bring him down at the 34. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. The ball is loose. The offense scoops it up. Gets out to around the 22. Tenth play of the drive. Gains his way to the ten yard line. From the ten yard line, first down. And run up the gut. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he adds the extra point. So at the end of one quarter, Georgia Tech leads 14-0. They line up to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. At the 30. Tackle at the 38-yard line. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he's level at the 
the 39. There's a reason why defenses hate playing against teams that run the option well. It's so unpredictable. That time they couldn't defend it properly and they gave up a first down. From the 24 yard line, it's first down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. It's first down, and he'll be looking for six points here. He's scrambling, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 63-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 14-7. He'll return it from the one. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Georgia Tech is up seven. Tackle made around the 23-yard line. Two-yard carry by the fullback. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. The Yellow Jackets had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And now he pitches it. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and down he goes, around the 47-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 47. have the capability to gain solid consistent yardage they have to regroup come out a bit more motivated next time the pitch and he's got some room Gets out to around the 28. From the 28-yard line, first down. Georgia Tech is up a score. Slides down to the ground. 
second and two. Makes his way out to about the 12. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. He's taken down at the four-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Georgia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. At about the three yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. Here's play six. number 10 on the drive. I got two. I got two. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. And they hit him in the backfield. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Georgia Tech can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. So we've played two quarters. The Yellow Jackets lead 17-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither team has allowed a sack in this game, and while a lot of fans, and look, we've been guilty of it in here sometimes as we watch games from around the country, your eye sort of follows the ball. You want to see what happens. But then there's the game inside the game. What's it like in the trenches, offensive line versus defensive line, particularly when one side's winning every time, in this case, the offensive line? Well, it's always tough to judge because you could be doing your job just fine, but because the secondary doesn't play well, maybe it's just you're doing your job, but the secondary's not, and you look really bad on the same token. But, you know, it's it's the most physical spot on the field. You got you get your hands on those big, fat guys every single time, and you got to shed them, and you got to push them back, and you exert a lot of force and a lot of energy. And it, it's not – on defense, you just try to see ball, get ball. You know, offensive – those offensive linemen, they got a little bit more brains to them. They, they know where they're going. They know where the play is. They know the snap count. It's a little bit easier for them. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Setting up the play action. Tries to get around the corner. He's taken off. 
He's knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, first down. A little toss across the middle. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of two on the way. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 44. And they'll bring him down behind the line. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 41. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. it and tackled in the backfield. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. The 43-yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That makes it six and eight. Falls on it. From the 30-yard line. First down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. He makes it to the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, second down. run there as they work the outside. 
This is the eighth play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an opening. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. The short yardage defense here. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets to about the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 70 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. The score now, 24-7. He sends this one deep. Georgia Tech to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia Tech's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Brought down around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. Seven, Georgia Tech. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Little handoff, and they'll get him in the backfield. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut him down. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good. That makes it second and it's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. The 19 yard line.
inside the 10. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. And the goal line defense digging in here. Tackle made around the three-yard line. decision to keep it for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 32-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. It's really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. And this offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. And not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. From their own 26-yard line, second down. He's on the run. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. First and ten. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start. Off the back. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. at the 24. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Just under two to go in the game. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Number 96 on the tackle at the 23-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. This is the 11th play of this drive. Down. 
He's under pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. It's second and goal. Ball on the 10. They'll get him for a loss. Virginia Tech will take their first time out of the half. And this is the 13th play of this drive. It's intercepted, and that should do it. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to about the 23. to get the first down here on third down. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 31-7, Yellow Jackets. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action of this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Virginia Tech probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.